I don't know who you are, friend, but you've got about 10 seconds to tell me what you're doing in my blood works before I lop your arms off. You what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you! My granny could beat you and she's dead! Wait, you're serious, aren't you? What is it with you people? You walk in, want to be combatants, and your entrails end up decorating my red room. You haven't run home to mama yet, huh? That's a good sign. So, you ready for a match, or do you just need some information? All right, maggot. Looks like you're suited up in your battle raiment and all set to go. The red room is just over there. When you're ready to get eviscerated, just head up the ramp to the arena. Good luck, and may Azura have mercy on your soul. By the nine divines, you did it. You actually won. You ain't so bad after all, pit dog. You may even survive enough matches to advance in rank. Okay, so you're not a complete loser. Don't get cocky. Let me know when you're ready for a match and you can prove yourself to me some more. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's the spirit. You give the people of Cyrodiil a good show and I'll make sure you get a decent burial. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so you did it again. What do you want from me, a hug? Take your gold and get out of my face, pit dog. You must be downright determined to get yourself killed, huh? Okay, then head back up to the arena and try not to die before the gate opens. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're no longer a pit dog. That's right. You've actually advanced in rank. Congratulations, brawler. You know what brawler rank is worth around here? Nothing. Face it, kid. You're still a maggot. You need to keep fighting if you want to be somebody. Okay, brawler, you know the drill. Head up to that arena and show them who's boss. Four wins is okay, kid, but it don't make you grand champion. Here's your payout. Now go clean yourself up before your next match. All right, brawler. This next match is going to be a challenge. Turns out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. They're twins, actually. You gotta take them both out. Now get in there and show those tree climbers who's boss. Ha, <laughs> those girls didn't stand a chance. Good job, brawler. Here's your take. One more match and you'll advance again. You beating those twins is a good sign. You got a lot of fight in you. Let me know when you're ready to get bloody again. Your next opponent is a Khajiit. Not one of the quick, jumpy ones, either. This cat goes in heavy, usually with an axe. Now go get him. Okay, so you can fight. Your new title is Bloodletter. You're getting into the real game now, kid. More gold for more blood. Don't disappoint me. The next opponent is a red guard. I've seen him fight with both a mace and a sword. So be ready for either one. That was a good fight, Bloodletter. You really showed that red guard who's boss. Here's your take. Now go clean yourself up. Your next opponent wears a heavy raiment, but attacks with a short sword. She's like a heavily armored wasp and has the temper to match. Careful. Okay, so you killed the Breton. Don't get a big head. Here's your payout. My red room got its paint job from fighters like you. After you disemboweled the next idiot, I want you to smear his blood all over the walls. <laughs> next up is a dark elf. I've never seen him fight before but he's got a bow as well as a sword, so be ready for a ranged attack. Good work, Bloodletter, or should I say Myrmidon? That's right, you've risen in rank. You know how it works, more blood, more gold. Here! All right, Myrmidon, time to stop messing around. You ready to teach those yellow team scumbags a lesson or what? Don't be fooled by your next opponent. The little dagger he uses is actually a powerful enchanted weapon called Shimmer Strike. Now go get him! I guess you told that wood elf what you thought of his magic dagger, huh? <laughs> Here's your gold. Nice going. No surprises with this next one. Just a high elf with a chip on her shoulder. Get up to that arena and make her beg for death. Ultima. They act all high and mighty until you leave them in a pool of their own blood. Here's your gold. Go take a breather. You're cutting through the yellow team like a knife through scrib jelly. One more fighting, you'll advance to warrior rank. The next opponent is your standard axe-armed orc. He's in a heavy raiment and looks pretty fit. Nothing you can't handle. There are a few things scarier than an orc with an axe, but you didn't even flinch. That victory brings you up to warrior rank. Well done. I've seen the next one fight before. She's a Nord, very quick, very strong. She favors a longsword and knows how to use it. Don't underestimate her. You left that Nord in pretty rough shape, warrior. 
They'll probably have to ship her back to Skyrim in pieces. Nice work. Here's your take. Look at you. You keep coming back for more. All right, warrior. You ready for a match? Ah, spellcasters. That's what this next one is. A high elf sorceress or something. Just get in close and stab her a few times. That'll teach her. Another high elf has been taught the meaning of humility thanks to the blue team's number one warrior. You really earned your keep this time. One more match is all you need to advance again, up to gladiator rank. Most combatants never make it that far, but you're the exception, aren't you? Your next opponent is the most savage, blood-crazed orc I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen a lot of them. This will not be fun. She'll come out of that gate with a warhammer the size of a child, and she'll swing it until your head explodes. Don't let that happen. You hit that orc so hard, her mother in Orsinium started bleeding. That victory advances you to the rank of gladiator. Enjoy the gold. Gladiator. It's not very often I get to call somebody that. You're doing the blue team proud, kid. Now go kill somebody before I get all weepy. Listen up. This next match is an outrage, but there's nothing I can do about it. You've got three opponents this time, and you have to beat them all. They're Argonian prisoners brought here from Black Marsh. They've been told they have to kill you in exchange for their freedom. I don't know what crimes they committed, but it's your life or their freedom. The choice should be pretty clear. Get going and watch yourself. The yellow team surprised even me with that match. Three against one. I guess they didn't know who they were dealing with, huh? Well done. You ain't gonna stop until you hit champion, are you? Well, good. The blue team needs as much glory as we can get. After that last match, this one should feel like a vacation. One Khajiit in a heavy raiment, probably with a sword. Nothing you can't handle. You showed that cat whose claws are sharper, eh? I would expect no less. Here's your gold. Now go wash up. You look awful. What's a gladiator without an arena to fight in? So get up there and start cracking some skulls. Besides, one more fight and you'll advance again. The next one's a Breton. He looks like a bit of a dandy, but he's deadly with a blade. He has more experience than you, so be prepared. By defeating that Breton, you've secured your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team's got. The first yellow team hero you'll face is an Imperial in heavy raiment. He fights with an Akaviri longsword. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. You know those guys who protect the Emperor? He's a trained swordsman, so keep your damn head down! Defeating an arena hero is one thing, but defeating a former member of the Blades? You must be blessed by the Divines or something, my friend. You're a hero, my friend. That crowd is out there for one reason, to see you destroy the Yellow Team. Now go give them what they want! Okay, hero. This next opponent is a High Elf Wizard. A master in the School of Destruction. But wait gets worse. He also uses an enchanted shield called the Grey Ages, which gives him some serious magic resistances. Your best bet is to just charge straight in. Press the attack, and don't give him a chance to let off a spell. I don't want to have to sweep your ashes out of the arena. I'll be honest, Hero. With the kinds of victories you've been having, I knew that elf didn't stand a chance. Here's your gold. You're at the end of a long road, Hero. This is the last time you'll face off against the yellow team before being named champion. Go up to that arena and make sure the people of Cyrodiil never forget that it was you who brought the yellow team to its knees. All right, this is it. Your last fight against the yellow team. I guess you could say they saved the best for last. The three best, actually. You're up against a swordsman, an archer, and a spellcaster. Two lower level combatants plus that yellow team champion you've seen down here. You beat all three and you get named champion. I know you can do this. Now get up there and show everyone why you're the best. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I sent Pork Chop the Boar up to the arena to help you out. He'll at least keep one of them distracted. Now good luck. You did it. You beat him every last one. Do you know how long it will take for the yellow team to recover from this? <laughs> My friend, it is with great honor that I advance you to the rank of champion. You've done it. You've shown them all you're the best. Well, almost the best. You're done competing in normal arena matches, but there's still the grand champion. Kid, 
you've got more guts and skill. I think you can take the Great Prince. Go over and talk to Isabel if you think I'm right. Hello, my friend. What can this grizzled old blade master do for you? Ready? Ready for what? You're grand champion. You've already won it all. The whole damn thing. <laughs> Get a move on. You what? You want to be a combatant? <laughs> Look at you. My granny could beat you and she's dead. My granny could beat you and she's dead. My granny could beat you and she's dead. My granny could beat you and she's dead.